I am looking for a King Jose. King Jose. I am looking for a King Jose. Hey doctor, I'm right here. What's up? Well, what's up means that you have not done a Disney informational video in about a year or two. Or, um, is everything alright with you? Well, yeah, doc. You know, it's just I haven't done a, a thing, a Disney informational video in a year or two. is because I was trying to piggyback everybody else and I wasn't being myself. But now I found myself and I love myself and I feel much better. And I want to share Disney, um, Disney information my way, and I hope people like it. It's because it's it's my way. Yes, yes, I do see here that you said that you were trying to piggyback of uh, of uh, off other people, which I'm glad you found yourself and you're loving yourself, um, King Jose. It's very important to do you and to do yourself, and people f will love you for who you are, and that's a message that my parents have taught me through the years. You doc so much um without bothering you or anything but i have a disney informational video to actually release to the public and record right now i'm gonna be myself like you said like my parents said and like your parents said um to keep on going so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be myself your son well you went you go have a blast making that disney informational video have a great one king jose and good luck you're gonna make it big in the record books doc thank you so much it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful day. Hey, hey, it's a beautiful day. All right, before we start this video, I did not mean that. It just came out of my mind. I don't know why I did this, like it's the 90s, but it's fine, you know, it's another day. It's another beautiful day, right? It is, it is, even though it's nighttime, but it's another beautiful day. What's up guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Before we start this video, which it already started obviously, but before we start talking about whatever we're gonna talk about, please subscribe hit that notification bell so you're notified for more videos and hit that big thumbs up button as it will bring my video out to YouTube. At least I'm telling you the truth, it is gonna do that. So if you care about me, you support me, you love me, you, are, you like me or whatever it is, um, hit that like button and it will put my video out there on YouTube. So guys, in today's video, I didn't wanna do this video because I was so confused at first, but I do wanna do it at the same time because I haven't done one in a very, very long time. As you already know what the video is about because it's the title, you guys already know. And for me, editing the video, it's very confusing, but you guys already know what the video is about. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Disney Park Pass system, reservation system, for you to get into the Walt Disney World theme parks here in Orlando, Florida. So as you guys can see, Walt Disney World has reopened and they implemented this new Disney Park Pass system, which it can keep um, crowd levels low, the capacity in the theme parks low, and they can manage their theme parks up to 20 through 30% capacity. So they started this with um, Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom when they first opened um, two weeks ago. And then last week, um, this past week, they opened Hollywood Studios and Epcot. So all the parks did good. As I saw, they said Hollywood Studios was kind of packed, which I can see why they can say that. It's because there was a lot of people social distancing in lines and social distancing in the park. And Hollywood Studios is a very, very small park. So it doesn't really have space like that. So that's why the parks look so packed. Plus, none of the live entertainment like the um, Frozen Ever After show, um, Indiana Jones, L um, The Little Mermaid, and even Launch Bay was open. So none of that was open to put people in there, so that's why the park seemed a little packed, but it really wasn't. So without further ado, I'm going to explain what the Disney Park system does. It's pretty simple, it's pretty much a park reservation for you to be allowed into the theme park. Now. There are some days that are available and some days that are not available, like Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios is not available to annual pass holders until September, because July and August really is not the time to go to Hollywood Studios because it just opened and everybody wants to go. But September, I've seen that September has a lot of dates open for Hollywood Studios. The other parks like Magic Kingdom, which is surprising, Epcot and Animal Kingdom, are available so um, those parks are available in July um, they're available in August September but those three parks are good Hollywood Studios is the major one because it has two new attractions so for annual pass holders you can only book um, three the limit is three reservation passes you can only reservation passes or Disney Park Pass you see I'm already getting confused annual pass holders can only book up to three park passes and that is it. Once you use one of the three, then you can start booking another one so you can keep having, you know, 
that's it's just like the fast pass system it's basically how the fast fa fast pass system works like you go to magic kingdom you book three fast three fast passes for that day and then you're done with one you have two more you can start looking for uh, another one right so it's the same thing as the Disney Park pass it's, it's the same thing but a tip is if you're staying at a Disney Resort or any hotel inside Disney property you can actually stay up to like two or three or five or how many days and how many days you're staying you can have a theme park um, reservation for all those days you're staying at a Disney Resort. All you have to do is have theme park admission. That is it. That's it. Theme park admission like annual pass or a normal ticket. Just have theme park admission and you can make a reservation at DisneyWorld.Disney.Go.com. Make a reservation there then go to your My Disney Experience app. Click all the way in the bottom those three lines right there and then click my plans and then boom your plans are already there. Your reservations are all there. Easy peasy. Another sort of news is that this theme park reservation is going through September 26th of 2021. So that means Disney is saying that this park, Disney Park Pass um, system can be lasting all the way through September 26th of 2021. That is nuts. That's crazy. I don't think Disney meant that, but they put that just to put that out there just to make it safe all the way through September 26th, 2021. I don't think they're gonna have it from that far, but they're just doing that just in case. The thing is that Rise of the Resistance is still having a virtual line on your My Disney Experience, but there's three open slots on when to get a um, virtual line for Rise of the Resistance. I have not written Rise of the Resistance yet, but here are the open slots. So you can get one at 10 a.m., 1 p.m., or 4 p.m. So those are the opening slots. So remember, at 10 a.m., there's going to be more availability for Rise of the Resistance once it reaches 1 or 4 or 4 p.m. Those are the um, the second and third slots. You are going to be limited, and it's not and it's not guaranteed that you are going to ride Rise of the Resistance. Now, to me, I haven't been on the ride. I don't know what the queues or the pre-shows are, but to me, that sucks. I think Disney should just have a standard line for this ride, so everybody that um, have has a reservation system um, that goes to that park because they don't know when they're coming to that park because that park is going to be packed every single time because it's famous it's a good park and there's two new attractions so I think Disney should just have a a freaking s single line and stuff for everybody and um, they should just open up Rise of Resistance to everybody not just have a virtual line and then you can't and then you're gonna have guest relations packed once the park is empty because people are saying look i'm not coming back all the way over here because there's no park reservation and i had to make another virtual line basically another reservation to a ride once i got into the park what is this what is this nonsense so a lot of people are not going to like it some people are already used to it because before the parks closed this virtual line was very very famous and everybody was was used to it already but right now as the reservation systems are limited for hollywood studios i don't think that is worth putting the virtual line for Rise of Resistance right now on the My Disney Experience. So Disney, I think you should look into that. You should listen to your guests. I don't think guests like it. And plus, even when you have a virtual line, you're still waiting. I heard you wait an hour and 45 minutes still to get into the ride and you're waiting to get into the pre-shows like 25 minutes or so. So an hour and 45 minutes, almost two of waiting for the ride in addition to the virtual line. That is a long time and uh, that takes a lot of patience. Anyways, I hope this park, um, Disney Park Pass um, system works for everybody. I hope this video further explain the Disney Park Pass system. I'm not confused anymore because obviously I'm making this video for you guys and I hope I made sense and I hope I helped you out for your Walt Disney World vacation in 2020 or 2021 before September 26, 2021 before they take this away. I just wanted to notify you on how this thing, um, Disney Park Pass system works. Oh, with that being said, go live life, do what you love, and remember, always follow your dreams. Bye guys.
much better.